Oklahoma City rebuilt by play plan. In 1964, the Urban Action Foundation, a non-profit organization, formed launched Urban Renewal in downtown Oklahoma City, contacted with World Renewal architect I M Play to develop a plan for the future of downtown Oklahoma City. He too turned to film to sell his plan. The ancient man in the middle of the picture is I M Pei, and he was introducing his grand plan to local officials. Like many cities, Oklahoma City is showing the rose disease called blight, which like a deadly mold is settling over downtown and killing it. The symptoms of the disease are everywhere. In absolute structures, worn out hotels and apartments junkyard at the edge of downtown and the low grade businesses in March of its center. Fewer people come here anymore, and the sales are dropping. Business costs are going up, and many merchants have thrown up their hands and disgust and moved up. And as the 1950 bond issue did the pay film had a call to action, though not a bond issue, the Urban Action Foundation was trying to build support for the play. play. Pay call for tearing down hundreds of buildings and creating dozens of high-rise office buildings and enclosed the shopping mall and apartments around the downtown area. The area in red shows how many buildings would have to be torn down to implement the full play plan. Over 50 years after I M Pei revealed his plan for a modern downtown Oklahoma City, there are few fans of the urban renewal project that could see over 5 buildings obliterated to create super blocks of high rises, shopping centers, and a large park. Many residents still lament the loss of the Criterion Theater. From the first picture, you can see the luxurious and elegant decoration of the theater interiors. The last two pictures shows the appearance of the beautiful building at that time, but now it no longer exists. Pei's plane may have changed this city's appearance and made it more modern, but at the same time, it has lost some meaningful buildings. This is the map destroyed OKC, produced by I.M. Pei and Carter and Burgers for the 1965 Oklahoma City Urban Renewal Plan. The map shows the areas of clearance and redevelopment that helped create a downtown with a huge supply of surface parking. To get the job done, much of the old downtown would have to go. Tens of millions of dollars were being provided by Congress for the makeover. Liberty Bank, Fidelity Bank, and Kerr McGee were committed to building new towers that lined up with Pace Master Plan. Contractors hired by Urban Renewal leveled 447 buildings and the private owners tore out another 75 or so over 220 acres between NW6 and Interstate 40 from Chateau to the BNSF Railway. The height of luxury in its heyday, the Biltmore overlooked OKC for 45 years old before its 1977 destruction. Photos courtesy Oklahoma Historical Society. By the mid-1970s, popular support for urban renewal and pay had vanished as dynamite and bulldozers took down landmarks 
like the Criterion and Warner Theatres, the Dome Building, and the Biltmore and Harkins Hotels. A segment of the Criterion Theatre's ornate stage, picked from the rubble by a sympathetic work on the demolition crew, is a long-term loan from Smith Schick to the Oklahoma Historical Society, which displays the glazed fragment behind glass. The downtown mall never materialized, and the site instead became a massive two-level parking structure that was intended to be the base of the shopping center. The site is now home to Devon Energy Center. Pay certainly deserves some of the criticism that dogged him locally for years. His plane was tied to his embrace in the 1960s of bootless architectures. He also was blamed for the actions of private developers. He did not call for destructions of the Biltmore or Hawkins Hotels. He urged city fathers not to tear down Main Street without first creating a new home for downtown's surviving retailers. By, 18, by 1988, the play plan was abandoned, and the Oklahoma City Council declared downtown is dead. And it was that the moment the seeds were planted for maps and the revival of Oklahoma City. Pace's legacy is mixed. The Myriad Garden, inspired by the Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen, Denmark, is perhaps the best of the pay plan to have been carried out, stubbornly and against all odds by Dean A. McGee. This photo is the former Kerr McGee Tower, now headquarters to San Ridge Energy, which is considered the best office tower designed based on Pace master plan. Large swaths of blight were cleared to make way for the gardens and the Cox Convention Center. But place playing also eliminated what was a good street grid, albeit with what was a zigzag of North South Street crossing between Sheridan and Reno Avenues. Pay replaced the street grid with super blocks that are hostile re toward that are hostile toward pedestrian traffic. That in turn, has hurt significant retail development in the central business district. We lost way too much of our history. In implementing Pace Vision, city fathers committed their own errors, choosing to tear down aging but functional buildings in favor of very uncertain prospects for a new mall, hotels, and housing. They were in a rush to create something shiny and new. He validated their efforts during his last visit in 1976. He told locals he was very impressed with their accomplishment and estimated they were halfway complete in fulfilling his vision.